क्वेश्चन इज ए पार्टिकल गोज एलोंग ए क्वारेंट ए बी ऑफ ए सर्कल ऑफ रेडियस जीरो पॉइंट फाइव मीटर विथ कॉन्स्टेंट स्पीड फाइव मीटर पर सेकेंड एट सोन फाइंड द एवरेज वेलोसिटी एंड एवरेज एसेलेशन ओवर द इंटरवल ए बी सो एज यू नो द फॉर्मूला ऑफ एवरेज स्पीड सॉरी एवरेज एवरेज वेलोसिटी इक्वल टू डिस्प्लेसमेंट डिस्प्लेसमेंट अपॉन टाइम टेकन एंड डिस्प्लेसमेंट फ्रॉम ए टू बी एंड एज यू नो डिस्प्लेसमेंट इज ए शॉर्टेस्ट डिस्टेंस बिटवीन द इनिशियल एंड फाइनल पोजिशन तो सपोज दैट दिस इज द आर सो द शॉर्टेस्ट डिस्टेंस बिटवीन द टू विल बी आर स्क्वायर प्लस आर स्क्वायर अंडर रूट दैट विल बी अंडर रूट टू आर एंड टाइम टेकन यू नो टाइम टेकन ए टू बी विल बी टी बाई फोर इफ टी इज ए टाइम पीरियड ऑफ टाइम टू कंप्लीट द सर्कल सो वॉट इज ए टी यू नो टी इक्वल टू टू पाई आर बाई वी सो हियर टू टू पाई एंड आर इज ए गिवेन पॉइंट फाइव मीटर डिवाइडेड बाई वी वेलोसिटी इज ए गिवेन स्पीड इज गिवेन पाई सो दिस विल बी वन वन सेकेंड सो द टी बाई फोर विल बी वन बाई फोर सेकेंड सो द एवरेज स्पीड विल बी अंडर रूट टू आर सो डिसमेंट विल बी अंडर रूट टू इंटू आर इक्वल जीरो पॉइंट फाइव डिवाइडेड बाई वन बाई फोर सो दिस विल कम टू रूट टू मीटर पर सेकेंड सेकेंड इज ए सेकेंड पार्ट इज फाइंड द एवरेज एसेलेशन सो एवरेज एसेलेशन विल बी टाइम चेंज इन वेलोसिटी डिवाइडेड बाई टाइम टेकन सो यू कैन सी हियर एवरेज एसेलेशन चेंज ऑफ वेलोसिटी डिवाइडेड बाय टाइम टेकन सो चेंज ऑफ वेलोसिटी सो वेलोसिटी एट बी पॉइंट माइनस वेलोसिटी एट ए पॉइंट डिवाइडेड बाय टाइम टेकन विल बी टी बाई फोर सो वेलोसिटी एट बी पॉइंट विल बी यू नो बिकॉज इज दैट डायरेक्शन इज एयर पाई इज गिवेन स्पीड सो पाई इन टू डायरेक्शन विल बी सपोज इट इज द माइनस आई this will be direction will be j pi into j so change of velocity so change of velocity because these are the vector so how to take so so you can see because initial velocity direction is a v and direction is a this is a j and here direction is a velocity a speed is a v and direction is a minus i then delta v will be minus v i cap minus velocity v j cap so to take v outside and minus i and minus j so you can see minus v and i plus j and you know how to find the resultant of two vector resultant of two vector formula if you have a and b two vector that you know a square magnitude of a square plus b square plus 2ab cos theta and you know i and j angle is a theta is a 90 degree so the formula will be a square plus b square only here so here you can write b and on i square plus j square so you know magnitude of i and magnitude of j equal to 1 so here will come under root 1 square plus 1 square that will be under root 2 v and you have to take mod x so the delta v will be mod of delta v so under root 2 and v equal to pi so now you can put here under root 2 pi 1 by 4 so the answer is a 4 root 2 pi is a car accelerates from rest a constant rate for first 10 second and cover a distance x it cover a distance y in next 10 second at the same acceleration which of the following is a true 
So you know the one dimensional kinematic equation. So here we are going to apply s equal to ut plus half at s square. And here given car is led from rest. Rest it means q equal to 0. So the first given distance x in 10 seconds. So here you can write x equal to u equal to 0 plus half and suppose that acceleration is a and 10 square. So that will be the x equal to 100 a divided by 2 so 50 a. This is the first equation. Now y distance cover. So y distance cover in a next 10 second it means to total 20 second from the beginning. So you again I am taking 0 plus half a and 20 second. So if I am taking 20 second it means total distance will be x plus y because y distance cover in next 10 second. So that be from the beginning total distance cover in 20 second it will be x plus y. So x plus y equal to half a 20 a square. So x plus y equal to you can write 400 divided by 2 that will be the 200 a. So this is the second equation just divide 2 divided by 1. So x plus y by x equal to 4. So you can multiply here so y equal to 3x. So option b is correct. A particle has initial velocity 3i i plus 4j and acceleration of 0.4i plus 0.3j. Its speed after 10 second is so as you can see the this motion is a two dimensional motion. So the particle is going in x direction as well as in y direction. So we will take we will apply formula in two different directions so, as we know v equal to u plus a t. So now we are going to apply this formula in x direction as well as in y direction. So the vx final velocity in x direction that is a in in velocity in x direction plus acceleration in x direction into time. So velocity after 10 seconds. So what is the initial velocity in x direction that given is a 3i. It means 3 plus and what is the acceleration in x direction you can see 0 0.4. So 0 0.4 into t is a given 10. So 3 plus 4 7 and you, if you and how to write vector uh, velocity after 10 seconds in the vector form we have to write 7 i cap. Similarly, go for y direction. So, v y equal to u y plus a t. So, what is the velocity after 10 seconds that will what is the initial velocity in y direction. So, initial velocity in y direction is given 4 plus what is the acceleration in y direction 0 0.3 into t is a given 10. So, the 4 plus 3 again 7 j. So, how to write vector form? So, velocity in this is the x direction. So, the y direction after time 10 seconds that will be the 7 and j. So, total velocity equal to velocity of x plus velocity of y. So, that will be the 7 i plus 7 j cap. So, the magnitude of what is the speed? that will be the 7 under root 2. So the option is a B is a correct option. Next question is a, a particle is moving with velocity V equal to C Y I cap plus X J cap. So the particle moving in the X Y direction where C is a constant then find the general equation for its path. So here you can write V equal to c y i cap plus x j cap and you know velocity is given in two dimension. So now you can write general equation for the velocity like v x i cap plus v y j cap. Then now you can write c and x into j. So in this equation you can compare the i and j component i and j component. So the coefficient of i is here v x this equal to c y and 
coefficient of j is a velocity of y direction and you can write c x. Now what you have to do, you can write here because this is a velocity in x direction. So you can write dx by dt this equal to cy and velocity in y direction you can write dy by dt this equal to c into x. Now if we differentiate again here, so d square x by dt square this will be c and y you can write dy by dt and dy by dt you can put cx. So this becomes c square x. Similarly, if we take derivative of this d square y by dt square then this will come c dx by dt and dx by dt as we know this is cy. So this will come c square y. So, so you can write d square y by dt square this equal to c square y and d square x upon dt square that equal to c square x. You know the solution here if you differentiate like a y equal to e to the power c another sorry some c1 constant or no sorry c you have already so c into t plus some constant k1. So you can differentiate here if you differentiate then c into e to the power ct and then if you differentiate twice then it becomes c square and e to the power t. Here also you can write similarly x equal to e to the power c t plus another constant k2. Now you can see x and y almost you have similar equation. So if you go like y square minus x square this will be constant because both have same solution. So now you can subtract with a square this will give you the constant value. So the answer is a y square equal to x square plus constant that is a c.